Hi friends, so last time we were together, we were talking about uh, Wayne Thabold and how he made gumbo machines as his biggest thing. And this paper is pretty big, so I have my three gumbo machines there. And the funnest thing is each gumbo machine can be different. So we're gonna start off with our pencils and I'm gonna show you a basic gumbo machine and then I can show you a couple different ways that you can make yours exciting. So basic one, we're going to use a square then we're adding a circle on top and then on top of the circle all I do is do a half circle with a little circle there easy right now if I want to make this one a little bit different I can make it a rectangle with a rectangle on top of that and the fun thing is I can even add small rectangles that are stacking on top of one another in order to make that. Last thing is if I want to make mine even more fun, I can make it look like a character. You can even add the ones with the slides in them too. I think those are super fun. So if I wanna make a character for one of them, I definitely can. So I'm gonna draw that. The last little bit is just the details, right? Um, how I do them is I'm going to draw a circle and a rectangle in the middle. I'll do that again. Circle, rectangle. Do that again. Circle, rectangle. And you should know that gumbo machines don't float. They gotta sit on the ground, right? The last thing is we gotta show where the gumball comes out of. I usually draw a circle with that. And then the circle for the gumball in the middle. So circle, gumball, circle, gumball. The last part is just adding all those gumballs. So the thing is, these gumballs, they can't be too small and they can't be too big. They gotta be about the same size, right? Because when you're going to get a gumball out of the machine, if you get a small gumball, aren't you gonna be sad? If, and if you see all these big gumballs in there? So we gotta go about, you know, about halfway with that. Say that, you know, there's been a few kids who's, who's been getting some gumballs, right? And the fun thing is that gumball machines, right? They can look really different. Uh, if you look up on Google gumball machines, you can see so many different options. My favorite are always the ones that have that kind of like uh, little swirl down the middle of them. So it's kind of like there's a slide of the gumball that the gumball can kind of like roll down on. I think those are my favorite. So I just go about halfway and then fill with circles in between. So halfway fill with circles in between. And that's it. That's all that you guys are going to be doing today. I hope that you guys have fun with this project. I think it will be really cool to see. And I hope you do well. Bye my, friend, my friends. So now it's time for the coloring of the gumball machines. So the gumball machines you guys can color. I want you to color them in with markers. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm just going to color in my set, color in my gumball machines. And you know, for this part where it's all the details, I'm gonna just hold off on that. And I'm also really gonna hold off on coloring all my gumballs. In school, uh, we will color these gumballs in with paint. If we are not in school at the time, then regular markers work too, all right? And my biggest thing is I want to see different colors, right? I don't wanna see these gumball machines all looking the same, right? So I'm just gonna color in these two gumball machines just because I don't want you guys to watch me just color in for this, right? So I just colored those in. And the last little bit I can do is I can take a black marker and I'm just gonna outline the glass of this gumball machine, just to show me that these, this is where I'm planning on stopping, okay? I can also outline and do any little details right here. So if I want this to be black, I can make that black. If I wanna add gray to them, I can. This is where you guys add the things. So you're just coloring in the gumball machines themselves until they're fully colored in, all right? And I hope to see you all soon. Bye.
Bye, friends. All right, so this is where we are finally coloring in the gumballs. If we are in school, uh, then this video doesn't matter. You're just gonna use paint to color them in. And as you can see, with this, I used paint and it kind of made it different and kind of stand out a little bit. But since we're, if we're not in school, we are going to use markers. And the easiest thing is, I don't want any of these gumballs to be next to the same color, right? Which means that if I have purple, right, I don't want um, it to be right next to another purple color. Same thing with orange, same thing if I do red, right? Because I want to see that all the gumballs have different colors to them. Now, I am really excited to see this because gumballs are so colorful and I think that it's so nice when I get to see all of these beautiful colors, you know, all kind of near each other. I think that's my favorite part about a gumball machine is that um, it's so colorful to look at, right? And I have one that maybe I can add. Let's see, I'll do a purple there and then I'll make that work. And look at that. I just did it where all of my colors were not the same and they're all they all aren't next to each other. How fun is that? So in the end, you guys should have your gumballs fully colored in, your backgrounds fully colored in, all of your details fully colored in. I would say that this is not finished, right? But this is finished, all right? So I should see it look like this in the end. And I'm really excited to see your artwork. I think it's going to look really cool. I hope you all are doing well. Bye, my friends.